Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Off the Bottom. coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2-pack of the Mutant Shredders. Uh, this is a set that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, it's the first kind of deluxe set that we've got with a actual 2-pack. Which I think is really cool, because these are smaller characters, obviously they're much less articulated. But this is a great way to kind of give us some of these smaller characters, by putting them in a 2-pack. And obviously you see the uh, Shrimp Shredder, and then the Crab Shredder right there. And then for the package you got the nice uh, TMNT logo there, you got the four brothers right there. So it's going back to the original uh, kind of look, and not the Dimension X ones. Although, this is the first time that I've seen this, so I don't know if they're just now starting to really come out, but my Toys R Us had a lot of these figures. In addition to this, a lot of the new ones that uh, have been recently coming out, you come around here to the back of the package, you can see a lot of the other figures that are currently available. And then uh, for the bio here, it says, Using mutagen the crank perfected, Shredder's DNA has been mutated with a shrimp and a crab to form some of the best mutant Shredder guards. Mutant Shrimp Shredder is quick, agile, and able to leap Furiously, Mutant Crab Shredder's massive powerful claws allow him to grab and pinch his enemies into submission. They each have the skills and abilities to stop the turtles in their tracks. Seafood takeout. Now one thing that's kind of, I mean, it, 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 it's, you know, a playmates thing, but uh, you can see that the uh, Shrimp Shredder here has a much different color. You can see that he actually has like a flesh tone on his body, and then you've got this pinkish the sort of things coming from his face. This definitely doesn't have it. It's all done in this purple plastic, and the little extra bits coming out are also purple. So really kind of unfortunate in, in terms of the overall paint deco on it, but it is something that we're pretty, I guess, used to with Playmates. So not for the packaging on these guys, that's about it for it. So without further ado, let's get these guys out here and see how cool they actually are. All right, guys, so here we have the Mune Shredders open up and out of their packaging, and... Uh, playmates, you're killing me here, guys. Uh, I'm, you guys can't see me, but I'm like grabbing my head right now. Um, first of all, the color, yeah, you know, it's it's kind of messed up. The the whole torso here. It's like he's wearing just the purple jumpsuit, and he shouldn't be. I mean, you can plainly see that this section right here, this is like his little, I don't know, cod piece, and then he got his legs down here, and I mean, it, it kind of doesn't look all that bad, because when you look at it, it kind of looks like he's wearing clothes, so it's not all that bad, but you can plainly see on the package that there was some flesh tone in there. Uh, you got these big long things that are purple color, but you can see that th they're too long for him. So you put him here and it, it, it's, oh, actually, it, never mind. He's saying it's okay, but <laughs> you got to spread him out to get him to actually do it. Um, and, and you have to like make sure his head is not pointing down because if it's pointing down, it, it it's, there's nothing there. So make sure you have the head tilted up and then you set it down and let see. There we go. So, I mean, you can get him to stand. So it's not too bad. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you get a nice, decent range of motion there. And then you got the pin swivel joints right here where it just pins into the shoulder and then you can rotate it and you can swivel it out. Uh, there's no other articulation. He doesn't rotate at the waist. The legs are locked in this spot. So uh, articulation wise, this this is it. That that's all you're getting. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it kind of works. But then we come to the crab shredder, and first off, you, you got these pre-posed legs. And see, part of the problem with the pre-posed legs is, is is that they always get warped in the package. In it's like Hasbro, or Playmates, sorry, I shouldn't, have said, shouldn't say Hasbro. Uh, they don't take into consideration that kind of stuff. So, to get him to stand, I mean, first, it, it's it's twisted like this. So, you get him to stand, and it just wants to go one way, it wants to go the other way. It's flopping, flopping, flopping. That's really, <laughs> that's really all it does. I'm sorry, little shrimp shredder here, you, you poor little guy, who actually is not a bad figure. This one just, you have to, like, sit there and balance his big, giant claw hands to get him 
to to stand, and you gotta stretch some stuff out like that. But I, I mean, so this guy's just a total freaking fail. Uh, so the head is on a ball joint here, but you can see that the little shoulder things are attached to his head. I don't know why they couldn't have attached it to the shoulder. That would have made a little bit more sense, I guess. By doing that, you allow the head to rotate all the way around. I guess. Uh, the shoulders here are on the pin hinge, so they pin in so you can rotate it. You can hinge them up. And he does have waist articulation, but again, the the way that the feet are... It's, oh, and then these little bits right here, uh, his claw arms can also rotate too so that's nice except it's completely kind of pointless i guess but like i said you're balancing this just right and, and you got to keep the arms like that so if you move the arms let's see if you move them up whoop, no not gonna happen because it's just too heavy you, you know i mean it, it, these are really big bulky pieces of plastic so you got to keep them down in order to keep him standing like this. So, the biggest problem, I mean, I, I can live without pain applications. I mean, that's perfectly fine. I really wish they would stop pre-posing these legs. Just give us straight legs, for the most part, or something like that, where it's not that bad. I mean, this with the knees bent, and then you got the foot up like this, you just create your own problems with, with these figures, and you can even see that it, it's like they're not, like, this isn't, like, if that's flat, that's not flat. That's kind of more on of an angle, so you're kind of just forcing this stuff, and like I said, if you get it, well, first you have to stretch this out, and then if you get it balanced properly, you can get them to stand, and that's that's all well and good, but it just, I really wish they would stop doing that. Uh, even if you're a kid, now, these are kid toys, okay, perfectly fine, I, I get that. But a kid's not going to have fun with this if they can't sit there and have him stand up. I mean, yeah, they're going to go, look, I'm a little mute shredder. Clip, 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 clip. Uh, but, you know, a kid's still going to want to get it to stand, and it can't stand. Uh, it, it, so it's just ridiculously frustrating. I mean... I, I don't know. I I, I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm fine with them not having, you know, and these are kind of, like I said, because of how heavy they are, they are kind of floppy. This is a little bit better, but this one, um, so, I mean, it, it, it's, it, and the, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, great molded detail on there. I like that. Uh, kind of looks like it's a little, little, I don't know, you got like little eyeballs there, and it's like a giant killer parrot or something um i mean so I, i'm perfectly fine with them not putting in the articulation that's that's fine i can live with that just stop making legs that are like this especially when you got ridiculously big arms that y y you can't get them to stand unless you use those arms to counterbalance things um playmates doesn't listen to me they don't listen to anybody they just kind of do their own thing but this just, for me, isn't even fun. I mean, I really do think that these are fun characters. Just the toys are not good at all. Uh, I mean, the little shrimp shredder is okay. I, 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 can, I can deal with the shrimp shredder. The crab shredder just, you know, comes across really badly. Uh, so, I mean... I, I I can't even re I can't recommend these. Uh, they're 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 good for what they are, but like I said, even as kids' toys, this guy's not fun. You know, if they did the legs like the shrimp shredder on the crab shredder, it would probably be be a whole lot better. But I just it's frustrating. I I don't know. I mean, I appreciate their you know attempt to give us the characters and stuff, but. This is just not worth it, really. But, but if you are interested in picking these guys up, they are, like I said, hitting retail locations. I think more than likely because of the holiday. So if you're looking for them, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optivonimus. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>